Hi, I'm painter master Karen Boniker and I'd like to demonstrate the new coral reef brushes for you. Let's start off with the first brush called Anemone. This brush is a lot of fun to use. Um, a lot of times what you can do is just sample the color that you want to use, but it emulates the look of uh, the sea anemones on the floor of the ocean. And you can notice here that I'm using it in places where I can show a little bit of contrast. against the dark background. And I'll zoom in real close so you can see the shape as it forms here. The next brush is called Bottom. And this one um, I use just to create the look of maybe a sandy bottom. And of course you can always pick up um, different colors. And I'm just running it along the edge here. It almost gives the effect of the, <clears throat> the currents disturbing the sand on the bottom. The next brush is bubbles, and maybe we'll give our fish some bubbles here. And of course you want to pick a lighter color so it'll ship up a little bit easier. I just like to put bubbles here and there just to add a little extra to the coral reef. The next brush is called Coral, and this one, again, I use my Alt key to sample the color I'm working on, and you can create these really nice organic shapes. Remember, in Painter 2019, you can apply a paper texture as well and enhance the texture that you get from this brush even further. The next brush is called Currents. This brush you'll want to use in places where you've already applied brush stroke. So for example, if I wanted to enhance or move this brush stroke around a little bit and give it a little more movement, it's kind of a flowy effect and it breaks up areas where you might want to add the effect of water flowing or moving. So this brush acts on pixels that are already present on the canvas. The next brush is called Fan, and this brush would emulate the look of the uh, sea fans that you often see on the bottom of a coral reef. Very feathery, very soft. Again, I'm using my Alt key to sample colors around the area. and build up these sea fans. They look especially nice when you work with them in areas where you can show some strong contrast.
The next brush is kelp, and a coral reef would be nothing without the look of sea kelp. So in this particular case, we'll start by sampling a little darker value here, and we'll pull the kelp down from the top, bring it down. And you can go up as well. Maybe something like that. The next brush we're going to look at is called Sea Life. And this one is just a, a fun brush where you can add little elements of what I like to call little shrimp and small little fish. And it's just a matter of using a quick brush stroke to create the effect. Again, use it in areas of strong contrast. The next brush would be the krill, and this adds, um, this basically adds the look of little particles in the water that you often see when you're, if you've ever been lucky enough to scuba dive and be on a reef and you'll see these little elements floating in the water. Adds a little extra texture. Use a lighter color to show contrast. The next brush is Reef. And again, this one creates kind of the look of corals and textures. The next brush is called Seagrass, and maybe we'll use that over here. It's a very soft and feathery brush. And you can get very expressive with it and have it look like little grasses on, and sea grasses on the bottom of the reef. The next brush is Jellies, and this one is a, a fun brush. It's to emulate the look of jellyfish and just start from the top in one big quick brush stroke, you get this little look of a jellyfish. The next brush is Scales. This is a fun brush to use. I'll sample maybe this red and maybe add a few decorative scales to this fish here. Just by simply overlapping So a good brush for adding visual texture. The next brush is called the Sea Star. And again, you'd want to use this where you can have plenty of contrast. And to get the best effect with this brush, you want to work in a circular fashion. So twirling the brush with firm pressure on your stylus. 
and you'll get the look of a starfish or sea star. And the last brush is eels. And this one um, gives you the look of the eel. And we'll add just a few swimming through the coral reef. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. This is a great and fun brush pack to work with. Coral Reef. Take care.